In this video, we're gonna look at how we can sync our products from Shopify and then display them on the Framer canvas. My name's Ryan from Insert Frame. Let's get started. So here we are inside a Framer project. And as you can see, I've got some placeholder content for my e-commerce store. Now, if we open the CMS here, we can actually create a collection that's synced to Shopify. I'm not going to cover exactly how to do that in this video, but all you need to know is it uses the Frameship plugin and there'll be a link down below in terms of a tutorial for actually syncing that to Frameship. Now, since this is connected to Shopify already, I'm just gonna make sure I sync this once again, just to make sure it pulls in any new changes from my Shopify store. Now you will notice because this is in the Framer CMS, it works like the Framer CMS, meaning that if I go back to my canvas here, I can actually go ahead and create a new page, a new CMS page for my store and we'll make this a detail page. And you will notice it's already technically started to pull through all of that data. Now, for now, let's just remove all of this and let's set up our page. So I'm just going to copy and paste my section here and paste that onto my CMS detail page. Now, from here, we can start to tie our content from the CMS to the page itself. So for example, I've got a title element here, which is just some text. And if I go down to the properties panel, you will notice we've got these little pluses here. That means I can connect an element on this page to sync to the content within my collection. So we can set the variable to be my title and you'll notice that's being pulled correctly. If I've got a tag, I could set that to be my tag and I can even display my images. And you'll notice if I switch my CMS page to another item, everything syncs just like so. Now there's some things that update dynamically, for example, the stock or even the price. So to make these work, we can go to plugins and we can open the frame ship plugin. And if I go to the components tab, you'll see a bunch of sections and components that we can just drag and drop onto our site to add that extra functionality. For example, we can add our price component. So if I'll drag this in here and we'll remove that for now, and then inside this component, I can actually connect this to my Shopify data. And you'll notice it'll dynamically pull that information. Now, since I don't have a sale price, I'll just delete this for now. We can do the same with the stock as well. So we can just connect that to our Shopify data and everything will update dynamically. And that's how you show the data that syncs from your Shopify store to the Framer CMS to the canvas.